Hi, I'm John Flynn. This is Copley Advertising. And today we're going to talk about how Brad Parscale changed the word in 2016 and he's going to have another chance in 2020. Brad Parscale. Well, you don't know who Brad Parscale is? Well, 2016, he won Trump the election. <laughs> he was the digital manager uh, using such mystical things as Facebook advertising. Oh, and other digital mobile tools to change the whole strategy of presidential elections. He changed the world. The world. Okay? So, you know, besides you know, as, as someone who runs a mobile marketing company, you know, obviously, you know, it's easy, not easy, but, you know, one of the goals is to optimize the message down to the people you want to talk to, find out what they want to hear, okay, by switching creative and doing things. And then gathering the data and, you know, retargeting and then keep doing it over and over and over again until you get, you know, just a great following and then utilizing that as data and taking it to someplace else and fitting into the next model. Do that across the country. So, the op option B <laughs> to that what well, is the old model where you had Joey stand in the middle of Omaha, Nebraska, handing out flower, uh, flyers in front of the Trump campaign and writing down people's emails. Calling <laughs> it costing 100 times more than Brad and Facebook ads. So what did the Trump campaign do? They were smart. They pulled everything out. They pulled everything out and gave more money to Brad. They gave him $90 million, which people like $90 million. $90 million is a bargain. $90 million for the country and in social media, um, social media and Facebook ads and, and mobile marketing. It's a brilliant. I mean, you take all these stupid regional town headquarters out. Clinton administration is building like 10 more per town. Voter turnout, voter turnout. Well, you know voter turnout? Advertise on their phone, on their phone. Not like, you know, Joe knocking on someone's door saying they need to ride to the polls. Yeah, you know, that's okay, but I mean, that's why she lost, along with the other hundred reasons. So, you know, key areas in Wisconsin and Michigan, Brad saw, so he put, you know, ads directed towards there, and then, you know, when you get the click-through rate not the way you want it, you change the message, you change the ad, and then you home it and you bring it down. Is it gun control? Is it pro-life? I mean, what is it? What do these people want to hear? The economy? What is it? When you find out, bam, you bang it. You open the floodgates and you bang it and you retarget it and you hit them again and again and again. Yes, he won with like 70,000 votes, with key districts. That's right. <laughs> That's the game. That, you, you have to, if there's, a, if there's monopoly, you can't play checkers, okay? It's not, it, it's monopoly, okay? So that's the game. I don't hear any whining. The game, the rules were laid out. The electoral college is laid out. This is how it's won or lost. You can't argue at this point. That's the game. You play the game. And that's what Brad did. He played the game. He got key districts in Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania, and he banged them, and he turned them, and he found out white women suburban were vulnerable, and he pounded them because you could do that. You could target white women suburbia, college educated. You could do that on Facebook. You could do that in other things. So why would you have Joey in Omaha hand out flyers to everybody? It's ridiculous. But I want to know who was actually made this decision to make Brad 2020. It's brilliant. Is there any, there's somebody left in the Trump administration that's like allowed to make this decision? Because I want to shake that person's hand and say, wow, <laughs> that was awesome. So you get Brad out now, right? He could test issues out in certain key areas and collect data. That's all, the, the, the data, you know, I've, I've talked about it so many times in other videos, the data, right? The front end target's very important, but the back end data is so valuable because it's gonna keep, it, it holds. I've had data hold for a year, okay? It holds, so it's like, you could formulate your message right there, drill down, do stuff, right? Take advantage of the data.
Okay, so the, now he has like from now to 2020, he has data, you know, and he's gonna you know keep targeting and moving. When he sees things move, he's gonna move it back, you know. I mean, meanwhile, you got you're gonna have like 47 Democrats run for president, and none of them are gonna be focused on the you know the main presidential election because it's it's a wide open field. So guess who's gonna like walk into White House in 2020? I don't want to say his name, but I'm telling you. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Brad Pascal. Changed the world once, and he's going to do it again. John Flynn Copley Advertising gave me one month. One month of my mobile marketing program, and I'll fix it.